by Shaba. Kasike is back with his newest indie games explorations. Today we are fighting against monsters and crafty survivors, aliens and gore storm and zombies in death road. Stay tuned. Kasike. Crafty survivors early access. There is a movement in the action roguelike corner. With crafty survivors you have the usual fighting and leveling from other survival horde style games. Besides this you have to level up village buildings which you pay for with resources during your bullet hell runs. From the description I expected more crafting but village expanding is all there at the moment. Well drawn unique characters with different mechanics, attacks and resource collections give your runs an individual challenging spirit. The pixel art is well animated and brightly colored and different styles keep the levels fresh. Each character plays differently from the last. The grind helps you progress your town resulting in upgrading your survivors. Crafty Survivors is a single player action roguelike. Each of your crafters has a unique carrier and their own set of skills. In this game you have to protect your home from being invaded by hordes of monsters. You will fight in diverse biomes with its own challenges. You have to discover different skill trees on each character. In total, there are over 50 skills to explore. Gather materials from enemies and use them to upgrade your village, unlocking new characters, extra buffs and increasing your power even further. You won't be stuck in the same area because you will be able to explore new towns as your level progresses. The combat mechanics can be a bit confusing at first. Every survivor has more than one skill and figuring out how each works can become overwhelming. Additional, since the crafter's combat moves very fast from the rest, you will have to familiarize yourself with each character's signature weapon and fighting style. Fortunately, you can toggle your skills between manual and auto casting individually. Find the ones that work best in each mode, mixing and matching to fit your playstyle. Everything on manual, all skills on auto, or a mix of both, it's up to you. With adorable art and theme, Crafty Survivors made an intentional entry as an early access game. The game has been seeded as a well-made iteration of other games in this genre, like Vampire Survivors or Potato. I think Crafty Survivors with its pixel art style is probably one of the more unique ones in this genre. The fact that you have different characters with their automatic abilities to play adds a fresh breath of air and a ton of fun replayability. The monster rarity could be increased and I hope there will be more crafting elements in the town. I am looking forward to seeing how this early access release and the meta progression of the town and survivors will expand and which new areas will be unlocked in the future. Shut em up! With Ghost Storm, Starship Troopers have reached the world of Steam Indie Games. Fight off hordes of enemies, upgrade your weapons, soldiers, turrets and base to survive as long as you can. That's it. You have to battle massive hordes of alien monsters to secure humidities with presence on planet Gore. Do you remember the fort defense scene in Starship Troopers? Storm comes with a twin stick shooter gameplay and some bullet hell mechanics added. Like in the good old days of the most misunderstood sci-fi movie, this game remembers the visual style of the long forgotten Commodore area. Designed as a top down shooter, you will face hectic gameplay situations. Why? The increasing waves of incoming bugs make the forthcoming development challenging. The more bugs, the more fun. In the current early access release, you will get 7 weapons like a rocket launcher, railgun, flamethrower and more. At the moment, there are two mission types with seven enemy types and around 40 gameplay upgrades. It's simple and easy to pick up. Don't be fooled by the lack of content when you do your first run. After a few rounds you will start to unlock more stuff because dying is surprisingly profitable. Like they said in the movie. Come on, you you wanna live forever? Defend your fort by placing units and turrets in the pre-game and then run around blasting the bugs until you defend for long enough or you are over one. And loyal to do it again. Last week we played Dinogen Online, an online multiplayer shooting game, and this week we are going to the Death Road, a solo top down shooter. Like most shooters, the story is slim, but the bullets are fat. The earth has been infiltrated by zombies, and other soldier troops tried to clean the area, but no one survived. Now it's your turn to take on the mission to liberate the planet. As you are fighting alone, you have the support of valuable set of weapons, which includes a machine gun, rockets, shotgun and more, including, of 
course, an ice gun, bolt gun and flamethrower. Five chapters with six stages are in total 30 levels to overtake from the zombies. Smooth gameplay with a controller, I didn't found keyboard support, are helpful with this challenge. Get the planet clean, hell yeah!